What is up YouTube Jay's Two Cents coming at you here with a gameplay commentary. You've requested it, you've got it, here it is. I'm playing Battlefield 3's brand new expansion Aftermath on the Marquez Monolith map and I have got some beasting tank action coming here for you. Did so, did really well uh, given the fact that I just hopped in here, had no idea what was going on and I hope you enjoy this gameplay. I want to talk about something now that's going to get just a little bit controversial. I don't really know what to expect when it comes to the uh, response to this video, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do it. I am going to talk about Call of Duty versus Battlefield and how to tell which one of these games is tailored more for you. Call of Duty has been around for quite a while, but so has Battlefield. Battlefield 1942 was the first battlefield and it is 10 years old in fact it just had its 10 year anniversary i think last month and they were giving away battlefield 1942 for free on steam but you know battlefield and call of duty a lot of people like to take that riff like android versus iphone and you know mac versus pc you know blah, 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 all that stupid stuff but you can't really compare, in my opinion, Call of Duty to Battlefield because they're two entirely different styles of gameplay. And what I mean by that is Call of Duty is all first-person shooter uh, running around. Yeah, you may get some kill streak, you know, weapon operation there in a helicopter or, a, you know, a, a missile or something like that. But Battlefield, Battlefield is all about total immersion into war you see right here in the screen you've got a helicopter obviously i'm in a tank you've got smaller tank destroyers and some of the other maps you've got gunships you've got attack helicopters jets boats it's just everything thrown into the mix here which really allows you to you know really branch out of just running and gunning and you know i i'm okay at running and gunning i'm not bad i can hold my own but you put me in a tank or you put me in a chopper and it's like, oh my god, look out because that is where I am used to it. That's where I shine. But you put me in a game like Call of Duty where I am just stuck running around with a gun and what I've got on me. And it's a whole different game for me. It's not the same. I'm not very good at it. And it's why I didn't really do great at Close Quarters. I mean, I felt like Close Quarters was an attempt by DICE and EA to try and capture some Call of Duty players and maybe, you know, convert them into Battlefield saying, hey, okay, fine, you don't want vehicles? Fine, no vehicles, check it out. Oh, you want small mass? Okay, here, we'll just put everyone right the fuck on top of each other and then just ball out madness. Oh, we'll put some flags in there and uh, random spawn points all over the place and bam there you go award-winning expansion <laughs> wah, wah, no a lot of people liked it a lot of people didn't so they came out with aftermath and every expansion that's come out so far for the franchise has been a different style of war and in this one here as you can see everything is already demolished you know the idea here is that a giant earthquake hit and you're running around and you know if you're playing scavenger mode you start with only a sidearm and you've got to pick up on the you know a gun off the ground there's no tanks there's no jeeps there's nothing it's just you've got to deal with whatever it is that you can pick up and very very limited ammunition so you've really got to change your gameplay style you've got to play Offensive. You've got to make sure that you plan ahead. You really use cover to your advantage because you can't go just running around. You don't have the backup. You don't have the, the ammunition. But you've got all your, both games have their gameplay styles, you know, and you've got hard point um, on this on Battlefield to be the equivalent of kind of like a King of the Hill, but that's only available in Armored Kill and with tanks and a shit ton of tanks. It's very, very annoying in my opinion. I don't like it whatsoever. Call of Duty has just never appealed to a player like me, uh, like Battlefield did, because I just I was just so out of my element when it came to Call of Duty. And I've got it for Xbox. I've played it a little bit. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to really get in there and get uh, you know personal with Call of Duty. I haven't gotten the feel for the controller. You know, I do play Battlefield on PC. Obviously, if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm a big PC gamer. That's not a fat joke, by the way. I am big, but I'm just saying, you know, that I am really into PC gaming and customizing my computer and that sort of stuff. And so I get a lot of people ask me all the time, do you play Call of Duty or I play Battlefield mostly? And they just kind of go, what? What do you mean you play Battlefield, man? Call of Duty is where it's at. And it's no, not for me, but I, I have had fun in the past with Call of Duty. I did have fun with Modern Warfare 2. And in fact, I actually had that for both Xbox and 
PC, and I didn't really play it much on PC, but I had a lot of fun with it on Xbox. But if you're watching this gameplay here, you've got to admit that the, the world and the immersion of Battlefield is just so much more realistic than Call of Duty. But then again, Call of Duty is a game built for console, even though it debuted on PC first and was primarily a PC game up through Call of Duty 2, just saying... But it became primarily a console game and you know you're very limited on consoles and what you can do when it comes to the graphics but in pc things are constantly evolving you've got different settings options and you can you i mean look at the smoke right i mean look at the look at the atmosphere look at the buildings the sparks it's just it's it, the explosions it's so much more realistic and when it comes to call of duty versus battlefield that is what really draws me into the game is feeling like i'm really there and the graphics are a huge part of it but you know um they just again they're stuck on seven year old technology and they're getting better at coding for it and making it look better and but what they're really doing here is they're kind of just tricking the console into you know rendering things a little bit differently i mean they're they're i believe if i'm not mistaken they're still they're still stuck on DirectX 10 on the console and we you know we're already here in DirectX 11 and DirectX 11 uh, revisions which gives you a lot of the custom looks that you a lot of the realism that you see now but you know i just wanted to go ahead and put out a little bit of video here some gameplay and just Go ahead and let you guys decide which is better, Call of Duty or Battlefield 3. I'm a Battlefield 3 player, but I do have Call of Duty, so once again, if you're going to troll me, you can go ahead and just eat me because I don't really give a shit. So that's been Jay's Two Cents, but as always, I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit of an attention whore here and say follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channel, friend me on Facebook, and check out my other videos on YouTube. Don't judge me. Camera out of my What was the main reason for you starting your channel? I just uh, found myself constantly drawn towards computers and Electronic, make it feel a little bit more real. I'm a new subscriber.